Clements Homebrew coming at ya. Hey, sometimes you've got to strike when the iron is hot. That's the old saying. I've never had to strike anything with a hot iron, but I, I will tell you that I do understand the term fresh beer. So today, <laughs> we've got the Alesmith IPA. And uh, you gotta love it. When they put the date right on the bottle, you always gotta congratulate them for that. It's right on there, I don't know if you can read it. But this is 221, 2013. That means this is 13 days from bottling from Alesmith in Southern California. We just don't, we don't get it that fresh. My, one of my friends said, get in here and try this. And he's telling me that in his mind, when this is fresh, this is as good as Pliny the Elder. Now we all know Pliny gets a little overrated, but all the same, when someone makes that statement, you gotta hop on it. This is 7.25% ABV. That's about as close to that 7.5 to become an imperial as you're gonna get. Maybe maybe a little bit of orange-ish to amber in there, but uh, let's go ahead and get a nose on the Alesmith IPA. <sighs> wow, that's, there's a lot of aroma on this for a, <laughs> a beer that's not an imperial IPA, let me tell you. And quite fr frankly, this is, kind of <laughs> Pliny the Elder-ish. Uh, some wonderful pine on this, not heavy, but some nice pine, sweet pine, with some nice sweet malt on that. Oh my gosh, and I'm, I'm picking up some other stuff on this too. I get, uh, I get some pineapple, you know, and I get a little bit of mango. Oh my gosh, uh, I get some, well I get a mix, I get, I get like a, a grapefruit peel, kind of like a bitter bite of a grapefruit peel, but I also get a little a hint of sweet grapefruit on that as well. Wow, I mean, I have not had this, I've, yeah, I had no idea. This is smelling good and we're going to get a taste on this, Alesmith's IPA. Wow, <laughs> there, there is nothing like, like getting an IPA fresh, especially if it's a good IPA. Holy smokes. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, but you know, this, is, this is honesty right here. Let me tell you, I'm gonna get another taste. <laughs> Where, where to even start with this is, is pretty tough. Um, I get this light bite at the end. I get some, I get, it's like in the nose. I'm getting that kind of like the grapefruit bitter bite at the end. Not harsh, actually very pleasant. The beginning starts off sweet and I, and I get some tropical fruits coming in, some pineapple, mango, other stuff. Um, But I get this pininess. I almost want to say a sappy evergreen along with some resinous. Um, I mean, I kind of qualify those differently, but but both of those tastes are in there. I mean, I mean, we're talking some evergreen and some sap on it. Wow, it's very nice. And this. For a standard IPA, this is as close as you're going to get to a, a double IPA, you know, an Imperial. Uh, truly, um, big, big flavors. This is fresh, folks. This is, it just doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Just a lot of pine, a lot of resin. Not overpowering, but a lot of it. Little, little bitterness on the back. Some of it's pine now, some of it's grapefruit, both. The pine's more dominant at this point. Kind of dries off. A little bit of that sweetness is hanging in with it. 
to try to balance it. Um, when it's this fresh, the, the hops are going to win. There's just no way around the hops are going to win out on this. Um, oh, that's nice. Uh, it's pretty smooth in flavor. It's a nice carbonation. Well, we can only rate it on, on as fresh as it is, and um, I'm glad I got it. Um, for an IPA, this is really not drinking like an IPA, but I'm going to rate it as an IPA. So as an IPA, this is about the happiest IPA I think I've ever had in my life. I, for a straight up IPA, this, I could go higher, I could, but I always leave room. I'm going to call this a 98. This is fantastico. This is wonderful. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you can get this fresh, folks, do it. For overall now, um, you know I love my stouts, and you know I love my other things. So just in beers, I love in general, but wow. This, overall, this is just killer. This is killer good. I'm bouncing, but uh, this is just sticking up there. This is a 96 on my overall for all styles of beers. This this scores a 96. This is fantastic. If you're someplace in Southern California or the West Coast and you can get this right away, or by chance you're getting it fresh someplace else, check that date, man. It's right on the side. Go for it. They're posting it. Take advantage of it. Uh, you might not get it within 13 days, but this is definitely worth a shot. This is the Alesmith IPA. Yes, Alesmith Brewing. One amazing beer. And what can I say? But life is too short to drink cheap beer. And I will see you on the next beer review. Indeed, I will. Cheers.